Hello, it's Carla from Scrap and Create. Today we are going to be building our recipe folder. Now, we already built our base. The recipe folder is going to be in this slot right here. Here's the back. Here's going to be the recipe folder. Now, when I was looking at this video, the original video, they were using score tape, a really unique design, score tape to attach the plastic sleeves that hold these recipe cards. Uh, I tried it and I was having problems and then one of the problems was you could not expand. Once you made it, you couldn't really expand on it. You can add more sheets. It would be hard to take out sheets if you wanted different types of sheets. Remember, these sheets can come in these four by six cards, or they can come in one single um, sleeve, multiple variations of the sleeves that you can put into the recipe folder. So being a teacher, I thought, why don't we just recreate one of these standard little, got your little um, brads, prongs, you can take them in and out. You can add as much as you want. It'll expand. It actually stays flat. You don't have to hold it. The other problem I had with the other one, it wouldn't lay flat. So this actually will lay flat. You can go through your recipes, do the front, and then just flip it over. You don't have to necessarily take it out of its sleeve. So we are going to be building this little guy. Now, recipe cards. If you want to get recipe cards, you can, there is a hundred different styles you can get on Amazon. I wanted just a basic, what they call classic recipe card. I like the design. It's simple, no frills, plenty of room. And these are like 110 pound cardstock. These are not flimsy. So you'll need some recipe cards. I will put a link to these below if you like these, the classic ones. You will need photo sleeves. So I will put a link to these also. There's different types of where you load in your recipe cards. Um, some of them you load in through the top portion. Some, this one you load in in here, which is towards the spine. Obviously, I do not want that. But what I did is I cut the edge here. So I made the cards now load from the side. There's plenty of room here to cut off. I cut it. Oops, can't can't see. Where is my camera? I cut, I trimmed off a piece from here, so it made it open up. And then what I also did is I used my, my envelope punch. Let me see if you can see this with a card. I used my envelope punch to put a little slot there right in the middle. So it's easy, easier to take those cards in and out. See, there's plenty of room here. You can actually trim this down even a little bit further to get access to the card. And once it's butted up to this end and it's next to the spine here, it's not going anywhere. So I like these because I like to be able to get them out in, in this direction here. Pull it out as opposed to fiddling it with this way and pulling it up but whatever type you like will work so you will need these sleeves i will put a link to the ones that i got um, but this is what i used so let's get those put away so what you're going to do so let me just show you I just used some 
um, old graph graphic 45 sheets just to make prototypes. I, this is like my fourth different one I made. So what you're going to need is you will need two sheets of 12 by 12 designer sheets. So the ones I picked is going to be these. these. So we are going to get these two to create this book. The flower pattern will be on the inside. I thought that would be pretty. <laughs> Just pretty. And on the outside, we'll have this more um, neutral patterns and solids. And we can decorate it on the front if we want. But on the inside, we're going to see this. So what you're going to do, get your two sheets of paper, these two, you are going to put them in your paper trimmer and you are going to cut this to eight and three quarter inches high. So make sure you have your butterflies in the correct direction. You don't want it like this. You want it in this direction. So we're going to measure and cut at eight and three quarters inches high. I put mine both in. I have a nice paper trimmer. I put them both in at the same time so I know they are cut exactly the same. So I'm gonna do that. So the two papers are cut at eight and three quarter inches high. I actually cut it at eight and three quarters plus a tad, plus a little tad, just in case I need to even it out later. I'll have some wiggle room, but um, you don't have to do that. So one sheet, one sheet you're gonna put it in your scoreboard with a 12 inch side on top and you are going to score this one sheet at five eighths of an inch, one and one quarter of an inch and one and seven eighths of an inch. So five eighths of an inch, so that's four eighths is a half, so five eighths of an inch, five eighths of an inch, one and a quarter, one and a quarter, and one and seven eighths, one and seven eighths. So that's one piece. The other one, you're also gonna put it, it in on the 12 inch side on top, and you're gonna score this at five eighths of an inch. There's four eighths and here's five eighths of an inch. Okay, I'm done with that scoring. So go ahead and fold on your score lines. Fold and burnish. Where's my oh my bone folder? Here, fold and burnish. Now we may change the direction of these fold lines, but for now we're just folding and burnishing them, getting them all uh, folded. And it doesn't matter which way you fold them because we're, we're probably going to be changing them anyway. We'll see what I mean. Okay, so what we're going to do next, now this is your inside piece. Now the inside piece, we are actually going to want, so let's get my butterflies this way. And, oh no, what did I do? I have got to, Oh my goodness. I can't. Good thing I, I made a mistake. Oh my goodness. So it's not that they're, I should have um, 
this this is the side that needs to be scored right here or this one so if i have this over here so this one is the one with the three score marks it's like it's going to actually go up and then the center piece is going to go like this so this is going to be like this so good thing i made this mistake so you won't so here we have this piece like this. So this one, so it's going to be like this. So what I need to do is I need to undo this. We're gonna be cutting this off anyway, so I probably don't need to undo my score mark. Now I'm going to put this in the scoreboard at 5 eighths of an inch. So this one that was scored at five eighths of an inch, one and a quarter and one seventh, one and seven eighths of an inch, what you're going to do is you're going to fold it like this. So you're going to have this first five eighths, you're going to have that like this. So it's quite more like an accordion like that. So they're gonna be stacked like this can see that this is the centerpiece and then this is going to go up like this now the other one here's where you scored it at five eighths of an inch you're going to fold this up and burnish it and these two pieces this one and this one are going to be glued together. So this piece right here, the 5 eighths of an inch on this second piece, standing straight up, is going to be adhered to this 5 eighths of an inch piece, standing straight up. You are going to glue them together like that. Do not use tape because we are going to be punching holes through here and the hole puncher will get stuck in the tape. So I am going to go ahead and glue mine together. Um, I, take, I may take a while, you know, I'm not really good with glue. So I'm going to adhere mine together and I'm gonna let it dry. So I will be right back. Okay, so we have this glued. Mine took a long time to dry. It's so cold here today. So anyway, so you're going to get your inserts. You have to have these inserts to make your holes. So you're just going to line this up top to bottom. Make sure it's even. Top, there's not, not much to even out. There's not much of an edge. And you don't really need to get the depth because we are going to be using a crocodile punch if you have one of these and we are going to be setting the depth so we know exactly how deep to go in. What you just wanna do is kind of get it in there and find the three holes. I can't even see the holes. And see, where are they? Here. here, here, and here. So that's the placement of my three holes. You're just marking them. So then if you have this crocodile punch, you don't have to have it, but it really helps. You are going to be using the 1 8 inch side you are going to be setting this lever. Remember, you can set this lever. You are going to set it to the fourth line. One, there's one, two, three. It's going to be right at the fourth line. Make sure I got, I can't see it. Right at the fourth line, yes. It's set right at the fourth line. Probably can't see that. One, two, three, four. That's just telling us how deep 
we need to go in. So that way the depth is the same all the way across. So put that in, find where you marked it, punch. Of course, they always get stuck in there. Oh, that one came out. <laughs> Usually get stuck in there. Find the where you marked it, punch. Find where you marked it, and punch. So there you've got that. Oh no, oh my goodness. Ding, 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 dingo. You need to punch through all three of these. So anyway, let's just repunch. Now that I know where I am, I'm going to mark them again. I can't, I can't see. So there they are. One, two. you know, I've done this four times. You think I'd remember? So they are all together. Put all these together. And now let's go back and punch. That's why it's so nice when it's already set. So one, two, and our last one, There. Now we can put in our sleeves. So let me just get a, a pack of sleeves here. Now you can put as many sleeves as you want. I'll just put in a, a, a few. I got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five here. So and I'm just putting them in just to make sure that this all came together. Then you are going to get your brads. Oh, let me go get my brads. And brads, these are the ones I have. Um, I just like them be because the these top parts are flat. They're not rounded, so they're flat, so they, they don't create much bulk. So then you just put your brad in through this side, go through your paper, my paper straight, go through the paper, and then you go through these two. Why is it I can do this when I'm not doing a tutorial so much easier? You'd think I'd never done this before. <laughs> and straighten that out and push those prongs down. So then the rest are easy to do because you got that first one in. So there's our inserts. These are blank. We don't have anything in them yet. And I'm going to, there, that looks good. So there's our inserts. So we do have to cut the, trim this down. Um, so what I'm going to do is take these out. And let me go ahead and take these out again. And what we want to do is we want to make this, measure this out Remember, these are going in here like this. This, we are going to be cutting it like it's seven and a quarter inches. So I'm pretty sure that's what I did with this one. You just measure this from here to here. It is more like seven and one eighth. So, because what we, let's see, if we've got this seven and one eighth. Yeah, we got plenty of room. Seven and one eighth. So I'm going to go ahead. I want to cut these at the same time. That way I know both these sheets are cut at the same 
width. So I'm going to go to my paper trimmer and I'm going to cut this at seven and one eighth inches and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I cut mine to seven and one eighth. So they're both even because they were both cut the same time. I put my um, re recipes cards in my little clear plastic folder folders. So they're all in. Feels good. So we're gonna come back to this recipe little folder we made with the brads. Um, I took out my recipe cards, and this is just too flimsy for me. So what we're going to do, but I like this paper inside, we are going to reinforce this. So I'm getting, this is like 85, 87 pound uh, card stock. So this is what I'm going to do. It was too hard for me to try to get this exactly the right size. So what I'm going to do, easy peasy this way, I am just going to adhere this to the front. Um, I'm just gonna line it up to where the seam is here. And I'm just gonna glue it down. And then I'm going to turn it over and I am going to trim it to the right size. Whatever is sticking out on this side, I will just trim it, probably with my straight edge. Um, but yeah, if I had to make this over again, well, I don't know. I, I guess this is okay, because I really wanted this paper on the inside for this part. I really wanted that, so that was the only way I could do it. So I am just going to do it this way, easy peasy, somewhat, just line it up. Don't have to be perfect, because I'm going to be hand trimming it. Just line it up to that seam there, and fix it, and then I will trim it. So that's what I'm going to do. So what I did are doing, I'm getting this squared away on my cutting board and I have it marked where I want to cut it and I just drew a line. So I, I'm going to be putting my, my ruler on that white line there and then this white line down there so I know it's straight. And it usually takes me a couple of cuts to cut it. Yeah, there. So I've got a nice straight line there. So I'm going to do that all the way around. Okay. Um, I'm going to recommend in the tutorial that you construct, number one, these, do a prototype first. Um, and adhere your designer paper straight away to the black so we don't have to go through this ordeal but it still fits I put a, a page in so it still fits I ended up putting it in my dolly 550 so I could just like do a nice uh, put them both in at the same time and just do a nice cut all the way around that way it's even all the way around um, if you don't have a really good paper trimmer don't try it it will shred if you don't have a really good paper trimmer so now what i'm going to do is figure out what paper i want to put on the front so after all this that part should be fairly easy so we have our recipe little folder backed with that 87, 85 pound cardstock. So it feels much, much better. 
I think I'm going to ink the edges around here because I ended up trimming it all the way around just to even both sides up. And the pages still fit in there. So next we're going to put the cover on this little booklet. So you're going to get the 12 by 12 of this piece and you're going to cut from the edge um, an eight, I think this is eight and three quarters long. And it's basically, what is it? Almost three quarters of an inch. And I stopped it just after the, the dark salmon colored right there, because that's going to be butting up against that this is going to go here. We're going to have a little bit, bit of tiny bit of black reveal right there. And then you're going to have a tiny bit of back um, black reveal between these two pieces. So it's going to be like that. So then you're going to cut this piece down, obviously, to the size here. So I've laid this down and I've cut out this piece of paper. I've inked the edges. Um, just a little trick because <laughs> for some reason, this looks straight to me, but it's not straight because when I cut my paper straight, it was off kilter. So uh, an, an easy way to fix that when you're cutting it, if you if you do one of these, these borders and you paste it down, uh, just butt this paper all the way up to this one and then just draw your line like I'm going to do one eighth of an inch here. So you just draw a line straight down. So you, you probably can't tell, but this is not this not exactly the same. It's, it skews just a little bit in this direction. But if you cut it straight, meaning it's one eighth of an inch all the way down here, and the way I do it is with this guy, which I use all the time, I just got it and drew a straight line. And then I can put it in my trimmer and just follow the line. Then I move it over and I got the reveal that I want. So I'm going to put it down. Of course, I do my tape, so it takes me forever. Um, but then I'll get that down and we will be right back. So the book is now done except for the back and I added the pages again. So I have um, a full sheet that's six, that's six by eight and a half. I have that in the front. So this holds, I think I put 15 in here, 15 of these sleeves. And there you go. It's pretty strong right now. Lots of room for some recipes. This is going to be going, remember this goes, this goes right in here. 